Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I just wanted to talk about important information. So I'm going to be going over a bunch of spreadsheets that you guys will find handy, and I'll go ahead and explain each one so you guys can get the feel for them. I'll drop everything in the description down below so you guys can check that out if you want to. And if I find some more things along the way, I will be sure to update them or add in some new ones. So if you guys have any spreadsheets that I don't talk about in this video, feel free to let me know, just message me or whatever, and then I'll just add it to the description and you guys can check it out that way. Now, before I get into this, I want to give a massive shout outs to the people that obviously made the spreadsheets and everything here. Shout outs to Sly for making some really cool tools that I'll show you guys in a second. And then obviously everyone from Alpha Legacy that put this together and just everyone else that made these spreadsheets. So shout outs to you guys. You know who you are. But anyway, let's get into it. So let's start off with the first one here where we have gem stats combo. So at the bottom here, you can see which characters there are. They're uh, abbreviated, obviously. So we can go here. We have Bard. And the cool thing about this is if you want to go for a specific gem combination, everything in here tells you how to do all of that. And then if you have uh, a certain build you want to go for specifically over here, you can kind of fill that out yourself. And there's like a bunch of cool settings options, some customizable things in here that you guys can check out. And there's one for every character in here. So that's the other cool thing. A couple of things I want to mention. If you don't know how to read anything here, I've talked about this in my previous gem videos, like I don't know, a couple of years back. This was a while ago. But if you don't want to check that out, I'll kind of just explain everything here. Actually, it does it right here. But basically, Basically, the first two stats you want to look at here is going to be your Empower Gem. So this is going to be your Magic Damage. So for Ice Age, it's going to be Magic Damage. If you had a physical character, it'd be a physical damage thing. And the second one is going to be Crit Damage. And this is for your Empower Gem. So keep that in mind. Now, the second part of this is for your Lesser Gems. So it's going to be four boosts onto Magic Damage and 14 onto Crit Damage. And obviously, you want every single boost into Light for your Cosmic Gems. So that's why there isn't really a, a third spot there. I don't really know why you wouldn't want to go for Light. But basically, it shows you everything there. Honestly, you don't really have to follow this as long as you just evenly distribute your uh, boosts just off of crit hit, you should be fine. And if you click this link already, you'll probably tell that you can't really click on anything. I tried making a copy of this, but you can't really do anything with that either. But if you go to the intro tab here on the left, you can actually just click that link. It'll bring you here and uh, you can just customize things how you want. You can go to certain characters. Uh, subclasses organize it however you want to subclasses and yeah it's pretty cool for that next up we have the star chart over here so it's going to bring you here to the intro page and depending on which one you want to go for it's going to be entirely up to you so if you just have a magic damage character that you have and you want to focus on light you can go for this one uh, this is for physical damage so if you didn't have the magic damage option this one's for both and you get the crit damage plus the light uh, you probably don't want to do the one for flasks. I would honestly just recommend going for this one over here, the movement speed, the magic damage, and the physical damage. So this is going to be the route that you take. This is with 40 celestial spheres. So in the future, if we ever get more than, uh, I don't know, you can fill out more depending on which one you want to go for. And for whatever reason, I have to refresh the page every time I click on one. So if I go here, I have to refresh it, and then it, it just pops up. So if I do that, as you can see, it's, it, it loads the page, and it just uh, it kind of brings it up there. So if you don't see anything, just refresh it. It'll show up. Sometimes you have to refresh it twice. But I don't really know why it does that, but either way, that's my take on it. So I, this one's really good if you want to go for everything, even the light. I have to refresh it, so I'm not going to really bother with that. If you want to check it out, go for it. Next up, we got some allies over here. Now, these are going to be the Viking allies. So you can see which biome they're going to be in and the cost for getting them. Next up, we have the Pond of Power here. So everything here is basically color coded. So these uh, orange ones, you can kind of read them off over here. There's like a little legend over here. So the orange ones, this is going to be for mastery. The gray ones are optional and then the black ones are going to be other stuff. You're going to want to get these along the way. But for mastery specifically, uh, you want to go for the uh, orange ones here. There's going to be a different spreadsheet that talks about this more in depth. So we'll go over that later on. Actually, it's going to be this spreadsheet over here. So if you want to look at this spreadsheet, you can. Uh, this main page over here, this is going to talk about the mastery items for uh, the fishing update. So if you want to know how to craft each material, like which resources you need, if you want to check them off. Uh, you can just make a copy for yourself and then you can uh, highlight specific ones that you already have. You can kind of make little notes for yourself if you're close. Uh, like, I don't know, this tome is 2,500 credits. This uh, tells you the total. And then you have like little check boxes. So this one's pretty cool. Uh, next tab over here has the depths of the angler. So obviously we have the mastery items here. We have some little notes over here. So if you want to follow this, you can. This is, uh, I highly recommend this one. And if you're curious about Mr. Thomas, the uh, turtle NPC, or I guess the turtle, you want to make sure you go over here in the pond of and just collect it all the way over here. So you're going to need a bunch of trophy of the depths and uh, keys to unlock the, uh, the big nodes. And one thing to note is if you have a key, you can unlock these over here. But then on top of that, you need a trophy of the depth to obviously claim it. So if you opened one up with a key, 
Uh, you're not going to get whatever it says. You have to use the trophy of the dub to get it as well. Or not to get it as well, but to obviously have it. And once you get the tortoise, he's going to be over here. Uh, I'm at the hub, by the way. I just went to the uh, downstairs area. So if you don't know where this is, uh, here I am in the hub. I just went to the back. Uh, there's some stairs over here. And if you go to this bench, there's that. And we got the tortoise over here. And another important NPC is going to be this guy over here. This is where you're going to get your quests. And if you want to get uh, more quests, if we go down in the uh, Pond of Power here, you're going to see, I think, it, this one over here. So Freshwater Friends Orders, you're going to get more uh, recipes at the, that merchant over there. He'll sell you some stuff. Basically, you give him flux, and then when you do those quests, you fish. Uh, it gives you marks of the angler. So we have the Friends Orders 2 here, and then we have the third one over here. Next up, we have another thing for the star chart. This is for mastery, so if you want to look at the mastery stuff, you can. I'm not going to get into this too much, and I talked about the star chart part already. Next up, we have the fish. So this is for the fishing update. If you want to know how to get these, you can already just check from the description, but mainly just want to go into fishing pools, and that's how you're going to get them and then i'm pretty sure that changes this is just additional patch notes that happen you don't really have to worry about this too much and actually this next one is talking about fishing so if you want to know how to get a certain fish uh this is it right here uh they're color coded you don't have to go to a fishing pole this is just your general fish so if you go out in the water just uh, make sure you have a lure active get your fishing pole out and if you get any common ones in the water you can get these ones over here uh, lava will give you these common ones and then chocolate will give you these common ones and then we just you know so on so forth you go all the way down these are going to be the rare ones we have some additional notes down here so if you really want to you can just cross them off as you go in here if you want to check them off that way uh, some do have like a little description of uh, how to get them a couple other things to note i guess so fished items you can sometimes get this fishing pole right here it's super rare but it is possible to get and then old boots ancient boots here's some fishing poles here's how to craft them stuff like that and then i don't know additional information if you really want to check those out so next up we have the 500 total paragon levels badge so if you don't know what this is if you go to your badges and go to your uh, paragon tab uh, this is going to be for the leveling part and all these numbers are really confusing maybe to you at first but if you break it down it's pretty simple so uh this top two over here is talking about delves the bottom two is talking about u10 five stars so if you do those u10 ships uh we'll get into that in a second but basically this is just without patron this is with patron so the left and the right there's a legend down here so if you want to see what each thing means you can see here so this is with everything calculated and basically this is just going to be how long it takes to finish that 500 paragon levels badge now when this first dropped there was no u10 five star dungeon option i mean there was uh you could go to geo top side and do those five star dungeons if you have a five farm you have to be within range which is the other thing you have to note uh, i think yeah there's a note about that right here and if you don't have a group it's gonna be a little bit tricky obviously but when this first came out i remember i was on the leaderboards with a lot of my friends we grouped up we teamed up we farmed a lot a lot of delves like this was a solid three days straight like, i'm pretty sure i was awake for at least two days straight it was kind of crazy and then uh obviously i didn't get much sleep for the other couple days i think this took a total of five ish days to complete for me L little fun fact i was the first one to complete it but i couldn't have done it without my friends so shout outs to you friends if you're watching this video you know who you are but yeah they, they finished it just shortly after me so anyway that five days that i could have spent would have been done in 39 hours if i had everything here so patron and then all of this stuff here and obviously that's if i'm doing uh, 105 dungeons per hour so i don't know maybe, maybe i can't do that but it's gonna take a couple days it's gonna be pretty quick but if you're not gonna be farming for that much then it's gonna take a little bit of time and yeah you guys get the point with this actually there is one more thing i do want to note so if you don't have the option of doing u10 five star dungeons like the uh the u10 ships if there's a super easy floor to do in uh challenge portals you can farm that over and over i remember there was one time where depth i think it was like 180 or whatever the case was the objective was just to go to the boss room and the moment you go to the boss room, you got a bunch of XP. So if you can rush there as fast as you can and repeat that over and over, uh, you would farm XP like crazy. I don't know if that objective is even a thing anymore. I don't really farm delves that much to find out. But just wanted to let you know about a couple different things that could happen if you do that. Next up here, we have geode resources. So we have the three geode caves over here. We have all the resources, the critters, the potential eggs you can get crystals obviously and certain critters will be in certain uh i guess caves and then certain resources as well and uh i don't know i'm looking at tier five right now but if i go all the way back to tier one this is what you get and then it kind of just goes up from there now i know it says you can get bronze eggs in tier two that's insanely rare not insanely rare but it is pretty rare i usually don't go to i might find some in tier two but most of the time i'll find them in uh like four or five really and then the odds of you even getting a gold egg like good luck with that like that is in 
insanely low. Like, you have better odds of getting back-to-back -back Gondas than getting a gold companion egg, so if you have gotten one from the caves, uh, GG's, I guess, but the best I've ever got was a silver, and that was, like, one silver out of all the times I farmed this. And if you want to look at specific things like materials, uh, you can just look at the materials for what you can find in each tier and each cave. Same with the plants and the critters. This is just for everything. And this next one over here is for your crystal gear stats. How long it takes to upgrade each thing, like the materials you need. It goes all the way to crystal four. All the stats that you can get on your crystal weapons, your faces, whenever you loot collect them, stuff like that. And we have a tab for literally everything on here, but I don't know if some of these are even updated, so... I just keep the crystal gear stats if you want to keep that you can and yeah that's basically going to be it for today's video hopefully you guys have enjoyed like i said if i find a new spreadsheet i can add that in the description i know there's a memento one i'll add that in the description as well but if you guys have one that i didn't include in the description or whatever where i didn't talk about in this video let me know and then maybe i can add another or a couple more in the description but yeah it's gonna be it for today's video sorry it took a little bit longer to upload uh, this video compared to my previous videos i try to upload every three to four days but sometimes i kind of just run out of things to do so Sometimes I get busy. You know, I can only make tutorials for so long for Trove before like there's nothing else to upload. I might have to adventure off into other content, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, I'm done rambling on here. Thank you all for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing, and I will talk to you all later.